everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lulu, thanks to all my new subscribers and new followers. Um, I haven't had a video for a little while, so I've got a couple of um, works in progress to share with you. So I'm cheating a little bit and currently wearing uh, an unfinished garment um, as it's a work in progress. So this is the, um, the Eve dress from Sew so Over It. Um, and it's still waiting on some a closure, so i.e. I haven't put the straps on yet um, to tie it up or the waist, waist ties. Um, but it's also waiting hemming, so it's a high-low hem. It's shorter at the front and lower at the back. Um, and I'm finding it a bit of a struggle to get the hem <laughs> done right. So um, hence it is unfinished and also still got all the thread tails and stuff that I haven't trimmed off yet. So. Uh, still TBC, but I thought I would share with you um, some works in progress and also a fabric My fabric shopping haul over the last couple of months because I think it's been probably about a month since my last video So I the other thing that I have as a work in progress is a seam work dress um, and I got a seam work subscription for Christmas from my husband and I've been working on a seam work Adelaide dress which I have just here and this is Awaiting Snaps. So um, this is a tropical print um, and all I need to do is apply snaps, belt loops and a hem. Uh, and I am a bit scared of using the snap press basically. So that's, uh, there's a bit of a theme here. The bit of the hard bits I've just left. Um, but I'm still obviously wanting to finish this up. If the weather's getting a bit cooler here now. So um, the inspiration a little bit lacking those <laughs> summer dresses um, but I have obviously um, got a few on the go and really want to finish them um, and we've got a big trip coming up in European summer so I do have an opportunity to wear them coming up it's not just all about winter for me so my fabric purchasing over the last uh, couple of months has been online again mostly um, there's a couple of things that I've shared on my Instagram page already but um, for those who don't follow on Instagram, I'm at Frocking Lulu. Um, so there's a couple of things that I've shared there, but not all of them. I have done a fair bit of online shopping because obviously that's obviously that sort of combines my two hobbies of I love shopping, um, but I'm trying not to shop, so I'm buying fabric. I'm not sure if that's any better. But so what I've purchased from Spoonflower um, this lovely um, crepe. So this is um, a poly crepe. Uh, and it's not too bad in terms of being see-through, so um, that's one of the things that I'm kind of that's slowed me down a bit in terms of my sewing. So I bought this lovely fabric. Um, it doesn't look too see-through here, but if you, I have actually ended up lining it, so you can see I've added a red lining to it, um, just because it was too see-through, I just couldn't wear it. Um, and that sort of doubles your process because you have to make a whole lining um, to add into your dress. So. I'm happy with that in terms of um, it's not too see-through. So the other things that I bought, um, and I kind of thought with this that this would be a wrap dress as well. I don't know if I'm gonna have too many wrap dresses in my wardrobe soon, but um, I bought this from LA Finch Fabrics. Um, and this is actually uh, a little bit shiny um, satin. It's not super, super shiny. So um, I have a thing about not wearing satin during the day, but I think this one could be okay. It's not too shiny. Um, I don't seem to mind it on other people, just on me. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Um, so that was in from LA Finch Fabrics. Um, and yeah, as I said, hopefully a nice wrap dress or something for work, because I think I need to build my work wardrobe up a little bit. Um, I also got an order from Blackbird Fabrics. Um, and I tend to sort of like really fall in love with things and then I can't get it out of my head. And I saw this fabric, which was um, posted on Blackbird Fabrics Instagram because I just love really big, bright florals, obviously. <laughs> it's not obvious already. Um, and I thought that that could make a really nice um, Darling Rangers dress um, by Megan Nielsen. Um, and because, you know, it is wintry colour, it's black, black base, um, that would do quite well, I think. Um, and then once I had gone online to purchase that, then I fell in love with this. Um, which I am hoping to become a nice summer dress as well um, for my big trip. Um, and the last thing that I purchased, or well, the last thing that I have to show you is from um, a local fabric shop called Potter Textiles that once or twice a year has an open day sale and they've got loads of their old stock 
um, for sale and I think this was super cheap. I can't remember something like, I wanna say $3 a meter, I can't remember. Um, but I bought this, which is a poly print, which I thought would be good um, for a start for um, making muslins, which I never do. Um, but I thought because it was quite cheap, I added a bit extra in there. I think I got three meters and that way, because I love a ruffle that adds extra fabric, I thought that would be something good that I could um, use to make something ruffly. So more dresses, obviously. <laughs> um, I also bought some stretch fabric, which I've started, um, which I've actually cut. So at the Potter's sale, I also bought some shiny stretch fabric that came from Korea, I think, which I'm quite excited about. Um, and I've cut into a sweatshirt as well, and it's just in the middle of kind of sort of pinned up and pieced. So I'm hoping to have that finished pretty quickly. Um, and that would be a nice piece um, for winter, hopefully. So that's my fabric haul um, and my works in progress. I will put um, links down below for everything um, that I've shown you. I don't think I'm going to have finished everything in order to be able to edit in pictures of finished garments before I upload the video. So um, hopefully I will finish this soon and I will sit down and hem it um, because the weather is still just about warm enough to get away with wearing it. Um, I think it's, I mean, it's really pretty. I love the shape of it. I think it's gonna look really nice. Um, when I'm done and can actually wear it out. So um, hopefully I will have some more makes to share with you soon. Um, thanks so much again for tuning in and I will speak to you again uh, hopefully before a month is up. <laughs>